Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Matthew Holland and by the age of 25, I manage multi-million dollar software solutions for the Department of Defense. And now my goal is to help 1,000 business owners reduce business induced stress and improve workforce productivity via leadership and communication skills, tactics, etc. So that, <laughs> now that the mouth pulls out of the way, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, I just got off a call with one of my prospects and she's really going through it. Like having, mm, I'll, I'll, I'll pre it with this. We got into a conversation about her business and what she does and how she manages her team and some of the headaches that, you know, you run into when you are managing other individuals that might not really understand the things that you're putting down in front of you. And it might make sense to you. It may. But at the same time, the goal for someone else to understand is that you put it in a way that they would learn from it and be able to operate because of that. That's the hard part. And it doesn't matter if it makes sense to you and you're sitting there like pulling your hair out because it makes sense. Why is it? Because you're not putting it in the language that they understand. If I speak English and you speak Spanish and I keep telling you where the door is in English, the door's right there, the door's right there, the door's right there. You might look at the door and be like, yeah, that's a fucking door. Like, what do you want? <laughs> You have to speak Spanish or at least use some type of something so that they pick up what you're putting down. Anyway, now that that rants out of the way, I think that it's interesting because we were on the phone for about two hours, like straight, like just straight up stranger, me and the stranger on for two hours. And the funny thing is that about an hour into the phone call and all I did was really just listen, listen, um, kind of pick her brain on the stuff that she was going through and different methods that she could go through everything. But the majority of it was listening. Like I really didn't say that much. I said maybe all of four sentences in a full hour. Okay. I really want to emphasize that. And do you know what she told me at the end of that hour? She told me that I was very well-spoken, very well-informed and that I really had a knack for what I was doing. I had not said very much in that conversation. All I did was listen for the most part. And I think it's interesting because a lot of us have things that we wanna say and it hurts physically just about for people to sit there, listen to someone else and not say anything, not put your input out there, not um, bring up your own ideals and, and just install them into whatever conversation you're having, just to sit there and listen, smile, and nod. And actually try to find things that could actually help the person, but at the same time, the big thing is listening. And I think that it's interesting that I was seen as well-spoken when I very, like I really didn't say much. The bar is very low. A lot of us want to preach about the things that we believe in, but not all of us are willing to listen and see the perspective from somebody else's eyes. So as you are going through, if you're in a leadership position, if you are in a position where it, you don't even really need to be in a leadership position, if you just want to connect with someone, help someone, or make them feel heard, feel seen, and, and feel is a really big thing because we are people, okay? If you tell, I see you and I hear you. No, you don't. <laughs> the only way you can do that is by explaining the thing to them that they already feel when they are not expecting it. But the easier way is just listen to them and not try to put your own views or spin on things for long enough. And you will connect to so many more people because of that. So take that. Um, I hope you found value in that. If you have ideas of how you can use that or other ideas or, or just want to counter anything that I've said today, let me know in the comments. Drop it down there. We'll have a conversation, even on your viewpoints versus mine. So good to talk to you again. Yeah, what do you mean? You guys never talk back to me. It's always just me. Anyway, <laughs> have a good one. Thank you for being here with me today, and I will see you in the next one. Matthew Holland, signing off.